to Frost Science at Home. Today, we're going to explore something really cool. It's friction. So, to understand friction, I want you to do something for me. I want you to take your hands and rub them together really, really fast. That heat you feel, that's friction, and it's caused from a resistance on surfaces when they move over each other. So, for our experiment today, we're going to explore with different materials to see if we can make this race car go faster or slower down a ramp. So what you're going to need is a stopwatch, a race car, or something that can roll down a ramp, some clips or tape or things to hold on your materials to your ramp, scissors, wrapping paper, tin foil, and a t-shirt. Those are just some suggestions, but really anything you have around your house will work just fine. And then, most importantly, you need your ramp. So you can take a bit of cardboard and cut it out to create it, and then prop it up against something. It could even be a chair or a step stool. Really, whatever you have is fine. And then you can begin your experiment. Now you can work with a partner. One of you can measure time while the other one releases the car, or you can do it yourself. Really, the fun is up to you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your race car at the top of your ramp and you're gonna try it on all the different surfaces and you're gonna try a few times. So first, we're just gonna try the cardboard. So three, two, one. Whoa, that was so fast. So now I'm gonna try out the tin foil. Let's see what happens and if it really makes a difference. I'm not sure. Three, two, one, go. It did, it was actually slower than the cardboard. Go figure. So now we're gonna try the wrapping paper. Let's see if this one makes a difference. It feels pretty smooth. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, it was faster. How cool is that? Now I've put a t-shirt on top of my cardboard. Let's see if that makes a difference. Three, two, one, go. That was even faster. I don't believe it. This is such a fun experiment that you can do over and over again at home. And I want you to try it out multiple times and record your results because that's really important for then deciding what materials works, what's did it, how they played an important role, and how friction is important in all of that.